welcome to my five lessons on leadership. My dad is going to give you the lessons because I'm only four. Enjoy. Well, there we go. It seems I've been nominated to speak on Ayla's behalf and deliver the lessons on leadership that she's devised since the coronavirus outbreak. We've all been locked in our houses in lockdown. Uh, Ayla's taken to reading quite a lot of philosophy and um, she's, she's devised these lessons that she said would be useful for my work and that she thought I might like to share. Um, so the first of the lessons that, uh, that Ayla wanted to share was um, was honesty and how important it is to be honest and what she originally said to me was you always have to tell the truth dad if someone tells lies bad things will happen since reading a bit more philosophy as it turns out she is a fan of the stoics uh, Ayla's had this to say hmm? if anyone can refute me show me I'm making a mistake looking at or looking at things in the wrong perspective I'll gladly change the truth I'm after, Marcus Aurelius. There we go. Thank you very much for that, Ayla. The next of the lessons that she wishes to, to give uh, is related to prudence. Dad, we have to be careful with things. What if I get it wrong? Who will tell Mum? It's probably best if you do it. Anyway, turns out that Ayla's something of a fan of Machiavelli, and she's developed her thinking. All courses of action are risky, so prudence. It's not an avoiding danger. It's impossible. But calculating risks and acting decisively. Machiavelli. The next of the lessons that Ayla wanted to share was related to kindness. Mum said I have to be kind and that bullies always get in trouble. Uncle Mike said I should just punch bullies in the mouth. I don't think that's a very good thing though. Anyway, Ayla's also taken to reading Bell Hooks and she found this particularly inspirational. And he says science based on domination supports and condones violence bell hooks the fourth of the lessons that Ella wanted to give was wisdom and she had this to say originally i think you know lots of things dad but i don't think you know enough yet anyway as it turns out marcus aurelius had this to say no round and up things no, not based on underlying principles. Marcus Aurelius. And the fifth and final lesson that Ayla wanted me to share with you is the importance of learning, continuously learning. Originally, she had this to say. Dad, I don't like school very much. But since being at home and getting involved in all her reading, she um, she's developed her thinking somewhat, and this is what she's got to say now. Despite my firm convictions, uh, I'm sure I'm always been a man who tries to face facts and to accept the reality of life or new experience. A new knowledge unfolds it, and where I have always kept an open mind which is necessary to the flexibility which must go hand in hand with every form of intelligence. Search for truth. M Malcolm X. Bye-bye. So there we have it. Five lessons from Ayla, age four. Honesty, prudence, kindness, wisdom, and learning and hopefully by the time we all meet together and are able to discuss this in person and have a beer together afterwards Ayla's thinking will have developed a bit more she'll have told me a bit more and then I'll be able to tell you and hopefully have some really good discussions I look forward to seeing you then